Hello, sport card collectors, and welcome back to another episode of Beat the Odds Card Breaks. We're back again for another shot at 2020 Bowman. I uh, recently was able to secure some blasters and some fat packs. Uh, I'm going to be selling some of them. So if you're interested, uh, check out my eBay store. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below. And uh, if you're interested in watching me open something, stay tuned to the video. Uh, if you've been following us here, that's great. If this is your first time, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's lots of content that I try to put out here as quickly as I can. Um, this is a lot of fun here for me, so I appreciate getting all the support from the community that I can get. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with Bowman, I can't imagine there's a bunch of you still out there, but if that's you... Uh, real quickly, I'll run down what it is that we're looking for and where your value lies here. Uh, the top 10 prospects, those are what we're looking for. That's what we're hunting. And I'm going to put those on the screen kind of in the middle. Um, so I'm trying to see if I can get one of these or more of these in, in these boxes that I will open. Really hoping to pick up another Jason, uh, Jason Dominguez card. I was only able to get the Chrome in the insert spanning the globe. I do have a paper uh, Jesson as well there, but uh, really hoping to see if we can get more of those in these packs to come. Uh, my best hit was likely the Bobby Wood Jr. that you see in the best pull spot there on the mat. And then uh, just again behind you there, these are some of the other cards that I hit. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to be able to uh, knock off some of these in, in subsequent videos here. Maybe to pick up a big auto, that would be kind of cool. So I'm going to clear the screen here, get these stands ready for a new influx of cards. We're going to go two value packs and one blaster. I uh, did a series of uh, value between the value packs and the blasters um, previously here, if you've caught that. Uh, that's fantastic. So glad that you were able to watch that. If you haven't, go back and see it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. It's an interesting uh, result at the end there. We did have, I did end up faring better out of the blaster pack than I did out of the equivalent uh, value in these uh, value packs. But uh, we shall see if that will be the case here again. Uh, in this upcoming set of videos that I'll be putting out here. So we're going to start with the value packs here. I got them both opened. I only need two more cards to complete the base set of 100. So I'm, as a silver lining, hoping to be able to get that done. Um, and then, of course, there's a few other of the, uh, of the prospects that I'm missing and some chromes that I'd like to hit here too. So Anthony K. Abraham Toro, Aaron Savale, and then we've got a 90s Bowman of Drew Waters. So I'm going to put that down in the inserts and parallel spot here. Move these kind of off screen. Uh, Ian Anderson, we've got a Hunter Green. That's a pretty good one. Jared Kalenic, and then a Brady Singer. I see that card way too often. And a Brennan Davis, followed by Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge, and Mookie Betts. So nothing too hot out of this pack here. I'll leave the chromes kind of below so we can see them. Um, yeah, we'll put the rookie cards, I guess, down. It is a rookie mat. I'll leave the rookies on top, and I'll put the prospects down below. And then, of course, the veterans don't need, uh, don't need spotlight in this video here. The value of this set is prospecting, so if you get a good prospect... Uh, that's what you want to hang on to. That's what people are buying up. Um, rookie starting us off, Dustin May. Trent Grisham. Oh, I just spoiled the autograph here. We got an autograph of Tyler Baum. Don't know much about him. Well, that's cool to get an autograph. I'll, actually, I'll sleeve that up here. So we got an autograph out of a... Uh, oh, where are my sleeves? Oh, they're down here. Out of a value pack, so that's kind of neat. If anybody knows much about Tyler Baum, leave a description or leave a comment down below. Just kind of looking at here, round two, 66 overall, so uh, not a super high prospect, but uh, still cool to get a signature. So he's going to go on the stand. Uh, Use Neil Diaz here, top 100. 
Then we got a Franklin Perez. There's another Daniel Lynch, a Heliot Ramos, and then we've got a Dane Dunning and a Riley Green Chrome. Springer, Fernandez, and Gonsolin round off the pack here. So we'll put the Chromes down. We'll put the Prospects down, and that George Springer can go off screen. So not bad. Got a got an autograph out of that. We'll see if we can add to it with this next pack. Vladdy, happy to always see some Blue Jay content. Uh, Flaherty and Young, and we've got a top 100 of Dylan Carlson. That's not too bad here. Uh, I don't think he's going to hit the hits board, though. Uh, he's Bear and Laura, that's one that we're looking for here. So I'm going to put him up. Actually, I'll get him sleeved, and then I'll put him up. Um... Uh, rookie cards here. I got to keep track of what I'm doing here. All right, Bear and Laura, you're going to hit the hit the stands at the top here. Not one of the crazy good ones, but always nice to hit. There's an Adley Rushman. That's a pretty good uh that's another one on the list here that we are hunting. So that's going to go on the board here in the chrome and then a Ronaldo Hernandez behind that. Uh, not the first Bowman, but uh, Adley Rushman does definitely carry value, so it's good to see. Snell, Scherzer, and Altuve round off the packs. Those will go off screen, and I'll put the other Chrome down in the pile. So not a bad pack there. Got a couple of good prospects for the collection. And I don't know, might have some color in this. This might be a red or something. Nick Solak. or oh, it's a gold. Okay. Mauricio Dubon, I'm going to save that one to the last here. Alec Bohm in the top 100. We got a first Bowman of Serraz, a first Bowman of Bennett, and a Ronaldo Hernandez. We just pulled his chrome. In the chromes, we have Braylon Marquez and Damon Jones, first Bowman. And, oh, there's a rookie of uh, Luis Robert, so that's kind of a nice hit there too. We'll put these down below. Uh, we might sleeve that one up here as well. It's always nice to get a Robert uh, card here. His uh, his rookie cards are uh, going to carry some value for, for years to come, I believe. Well, you know what, I'm going to sleeve that up later because I can't hold these cards and sleeve them up at the same time here without spoiling what that card is. Uh, no Nola and Allen for the rookies. Oh, what was that? It's another rookie card here. And we have... A rookie. Looks like Isan Diaz. Yes, to 50. Isan Diaz to 50. I have a, another parallel of him. I believe I pulled him in a purple here before. So now I have him in a gold. That's my first gold there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, you might actually go into the best pull spot here. A card to 50 is never something to sneeze at. Let's see if I can actually find his... Uh, yeah, there there was his to 250 I pulled in the previous um, pulls here. So that's kind of cool. All right, Hassan Diaz gold card to 50. Those are definitely not easy to pull. Let's see if we can get some fire out of the camel pack. So we're starting with Lodolo, Javier, Chaz, Gizolm, Hans Kraus, Zach Thompson. So nothing big there. We'll put those actually... Then we'll put those aside here. Kind of running out of space. Uh, try the second camel pack. See if we can get anything out of this one. Jesus Sanchez leading us off. There's Braylon Marquez, Grant Levine, Luis Garcia, Elahiris Montero. So no go out of those two packs. All right, on to the blaster. This is the this is what I was excited to hit. But I'll tell you, we did quite well with what we pulled out of the uh out of those two value packs i think those might have been the two best value packs that i've got on video and he's back to back we'll see if these next seven packs or six packs i should say are going to present uh a good value here oh yes i said i was gonna sleep up that robert rookie now that i have a free hand he can go onto the stand here too all right Almost filled the board with 
decent cards. Actually, I believe that Otani that I see at the bottom here is a card that I need, so I'm happy to see that. There's a Nico Horner rookie card. He's one of the better ones you're looking for. Uh, Miguel Cabrera behind him. There's an Eddie Rosario, and it always seems like in the packs in the blaster, they don't give you a hit always. So we're going to get a Kevin Newman. Uh, Glen Allen Hill Jr., J.J. Blade, and then a Matthew Libertor. So nothing I think that I need there. That's kind of a nice uh, chrome, though. There's a Luis Robert chrome. So he's going to go on the board. Um, J.J. Blade. Uh, yeah, those can go off screen here. That Luis Robert can definitely go up. And then behind him is a Langliers. Chrome. So we'll drop that down below. There's a Lux, the Yamamoto, and Otani. I believe the Yamamoto and the Otani are the two that I need to complete the set. So I'm very happy to see that, and I'll always take a Lux. There's no way that I would scoff at a Lux. In fact, I'm going to put them up next to, well, we'll put them up with the Robera there. Value-wise, I think the Robera is going to hold more value over time, but that Lux is pretty, pretty close to current value that the Robera has here. And look at that, another big rookie. Love me some Bo. There's a Bo Bichette. So that's going to join the trio or the duo of rookies at the top there. Kyle Lewis and Matthew Boyd. We've got a top 100 of Joey Bart. It's kind of a nice card. There's a Bobby Witt. All right, we're doing quite well here. Um, I'll sleeve you up in a second. Bobby Witt. Of course, I'd like the Dominguez. Uh, Nolan Jones, and there's a Grosens, there's a Jazz Chisholm, who I seem to be saying his name a lot, Wilfred Astudio, I've got him a couple of times, so not looking for that, Giolito Urania and Francisco Mejia, so a couple more, uh, I'm going to start having to pull things off here, that Bobby Witt's going to replace the Bear and Laura, And the bow can go with the trio, or to make the trio there with the other rookies. So yeah, so far we got some pretty good value out of this uh, out of this box. Let's see if our luck continues. Jose Barrios to start. We got a Reese Hoskins. Aaron Judge, and then we got a Bowman 90s and Mackenzie Gore. Put those off screen there. Forrest Whitley, Cody Heath, and Luis Garcia. Cal Mitchell, who I do have a speckle of, and Tim Kate are your chromes. Now I'm getting these things mixed up here. Uh, there's a Vladdy, Jack Flaherty, and Alex Young rookie card. So not too much out of that pack. All right, Betts, Springer, Junior Fernandez, and they're going to give us another to rookie, Tony Gonsolin. There's a bear on Laura again. So that's two in this, in this opening here. That's not too shabby. He's not going to hit the board because I just, just took him off for Bobby Witt, but we'll get him sleeved up here and we'll put him down in the prospects pile. Uh, Sarah's and Mon... Tero, there's a Dylan Carson, and behind him is Isaac Paredes. Um, Nick Solak, rookie, Mauricio Dubon, and Michael Baez. Two more packs to go here. I gotta say, I was hoping to get a Dominguez something, but I think I'm pretty happy with what we've opened uh, so far here. Yu Chang, Tim Anderson, and Whit Merrifield, and the chrome is Hilliot Ramos. Um, well, I guess, sorry, the spanning the globe is Heliot Ramos. Nick Bennett first, Matt Manning, and there's a Cal Mitchell. Alex Kirilov and an Aaron Shortridge. So no help there on the chromes, no help on the paper. Um, we'll leave the rookie card there. Travis Demerit, rookie, Means, and Vogelbach. Last pack of the video. Trevor Story on the back. Yelich, who I think I've got 50 of. Ramon Laureano, Mike Yastrzemski. The chrome is Mackenzie Gore. So that's a pretty nice one to get in the top 100. Uh, Drew Waters, Grant Little, Luis Garcia, and there's a Ian Anderson and Ronaldo Hernandez. I'm pretty sure I pulled him in an earlier video. 
Bryce Harper, Hunter Dozier, Trevor Story. So nothing really there. I think we probably got more value out of the value packs on this uh, in this episode, which is always a little surprise. So maybe they're making a fierce comeback here. Uh, but that's going to do it here for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content here and enjoyed the cards. Uh, here's the spread. I still would call the Isan Diaz as the best pull, and it's so nicely that it's on the gold stand and the gold trim of the card. That kind of looks nice. And then uh, some of the other big hits there behind. Uh, the autograph of Tyler Baum is nice. Bobby Witt in paper. Uh, Adley Rushman in the and uh, Luis Robert in the chrome. And then we hit some of the big rookie cards that you're looking for in the Robert, uh, Lux, and Bichette. So that's going to do it. Uh, like and subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'm going to sign off for now. We will catch you guys on the next episode.